It is another gorgeous day here. This is the view outside my window. The snow has started to melt in the backyard, but I am one of these people who absolutely loves sunshine. So it can be 25 degrees outside and as long as the sun is shining, I am good to go. In this video, we're going to be talking about something that you need to stop doing in 2022. Actually, it's something that I need to stop doing too. My name is Sheila, welcome to the video. Sometimes we are all good. We're all together, we're ready to go. We're stepping out of our house and going into the world. And then all of a sudden, we get where we're going and it hits us. That feeling of insecurity because guess what we did? What did we do? We started comparing ourselves to somebody else. But how did we get there? Usually the first place where we start to go downhill is with social media. We're looking at our Instagram feed, our Facebook feed, and we're saying, wow, that person, oh, they got a new job. I've been looking for a new job for two years and it hasn't happened yet. Oh, look at that person. They just bought this great new vehicle. I'd love to have a truck like that. Why can't I have a truck like that? What am I not doing that things aren't working out for me? Next thing you know, you're in this headspace where you're continuing down this path where you just set yourself up for failure because you're constantly comparing yourself to somebody else. It's one of the biggest ways to become unhappy really, really fast. I get it though, because it happens to me sometimes too. I'll see something and see some great opportunity that somebody else has, and I'll say, oh my gosh, I would have loved to have done that. But then sometimes I take a second to sort of regroup and think that through. <laughs> and then I realize, you know what? That's really not my goal. I mean, that's theirs, and it sounds great when they're talking about it, but that's really not what I want for myself. My goals are really something different. They're over here. So what I'm going to do instead is to be happy for them over here. So let me go ahead and put a heart on their page to let them know that I love that they've been able to achieve what they're achieving. Part of getting used to making sure that you're accepting where you are and not trying to be where somebody else is just because all of a sudden that looks that great is spending time reaffirming for yourself what your goals are, what you believe in about yourself, what you want your authentic life to be. The more you are comfortable with that, the more that is almost like cemented into your head, the less of a chance there is that you're gonna be worried about what other people are doing and that you're going to be looking at them through the eyes of jealousy and envy. Instead, you're going to be looking at them through eyes filled with love. And that's the difference. You feel good about where you are. And so you're not judging them. You're not being jealous of them. Instead, what you do is you say, well, wait a second, I'm so happy for them that let me pull back out my goals for this week and start getting back on them because now I see that this person's achieving, this person's in my network, this person's in my circle of friends. I wanna be there with them, supporting them, and I know that we can all do this together. It is an entirely different way of taking in social media and then reframing it and using it in a way to build yourself up instead of letting it tear you down. You have to have an active mindset in order to number one, recognize what is going on with social media, and then number two saying, okay, but here's what I'm going to do instead. If you saw one of my recent videos, actually it was yesterday's, about affirmations. That's one of the key things that I'm using now to reaffirm my goals for myself, the things that I want to achieve for myself. I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm this person who doesn't sometimes see other people and say, oh my gosh, why don't I have that? Why don't I feel this way? Why am I not getting that? I do that sometimes too. But then, like I said before, I really have to take a step back and go, okay, that's not really what I want anyway. What I really want is this. 
what I really need to do is find a way to continue to focus on this so that I can get what I want. Your happiness starts to increase because what you're doing is the moment you can decrease this sort of gap between where you are and where you want to be, the happier you'll be. And I'm not necessarily talking about, you know, having money or having like a 6,000 square foot house. I'm not necessarily talking about physical, tangible things. What I'm saying is if you have an expectation of your life and it's up here, but every day you're living down here, you have dreams and aspirations that are up here, but every day you walk out of the house, you're down here. Where you wanna be in life is up here, but when you look at social media, you're reminded that you're down here. This gap is always going to, number one, leave you unhappy, and number two, leave you in a position where you're susceptible to comparisons with other people and then feeling like you aren't measuring up. So don't measure what you want in life by what they have. Measure what you want in life in terms of what it is that you want and how you're working to get there. There are, of course, a number of things that you could be doing, you know, instead of, you know, going, oh my God, looking at them all the time. Double back down on, on your own plans and your own goals. Pull back out whatever your goal planner is that you're doing and do a better job of tracking how you're spending your time. Are you spending your time in a worthwhile manner that is going to get you to those dreams and goals that you have up here? That is going to minimize this gap that you have so that you'll be a happier person. Affirmations. This is where I was going before. Affirmations can be a good way to sort of bring you back from over here when you've been like making these comparisons because it puts you in a place where you are self-centered, where you are sort of I-focused, a me-focused. I'm focused on what I can do, what I want to achieve in myself, what I believe about myself. When you turn the tables, then you put the control back in your own hands and you can start to do those things that you need to do. Your mind is then filled with so much work, so many things you need to do, so many ideas and dreams. You're excited. That's where you want to be and you'll spend less time over here because you won't have any time worried about that over there because you got all this going on over here. So for 2022, let's start limiting these comparisons that we have with other people. Because like I said before, most of the time, we don't even want that stuff that they have. We want our own stuff. And that's really what's going on. We're being reminded that we have that gap. So first of all, let's recognize that. Number two, let's then start to work on doing those things to minimize that gap for 2022. One of the ways I said that I'm doing this is through affirmations. I'd love to hear different ways that you're going to be doing this for 2022 to decrease your comparisons with what everybody else in the world is doing and sort of focusing on yourself. If you have some suggestions that you want me to talk about in another video, go ahead and drop that in the comments too. Good luck. I wish you the best in 2022. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and peace.